About a long time back, our planet went through one of the most enormous scope elimination occasions throughout the entire existence of multicellular life structures. Whole classes of species were completely destroyed. Others changed past all acknowledgement to adjust to the new circumstances and endure the purposes behind this sensational occasion are as yet not realized for specific. Still, there is no question that the Cretaceous Paleogene eradication rolled out extraordinary improvements to what? Our planet resembled the lofty and stunning dinosaurs, were supplanted by animals, not less great vertebrates. Three-fourths of all living organic entities on Earth vanished in the Cretaceous Paleogene termination. Practically all animals heavier than 25 kilos failed to incorporate essentially all non-avian dinosaurs. This heartbreaking occasion proclaimed the finish of the Mesozoic and the start of the Cenozoic, the geologic time that is, as yet not over, it is partitioned into three times of different length, which are different both regarding environment and variety of the biosphere. The first and longest is known as the Paleogene. It started around a long time back and went on for 43 million years. In the initial 10 million years of the Paleogene, the world's biosphere was recuperating from the hard blow managed by the mass elimination. This geographical age is alluded to as the Paleocene. Since extraordinary quantities of dinosaurs and different types of the Cretaceous had died, there were heaps of empty environmental specialties for the taking, these were speedily filled by the new experts of our planet, vertebrates. The geology of the Earth of that period was radically not quite the same as how the situation is playing out today. Taking a gander at a guide of that ancient Earth, we would currently have the option to make out the recognizable mainlands, yet they were situated somewhat diversely. Consequently, North and South Americas were isolated by tropical oceans, while the Indian subcontinent was simply beginning to make for the Asian shores, the ancient sea known as the Ties actually lay among Africa and Eurasia, yet was at that point generally giving way because of the developments of structural plates the environment of the age was hotter and more steady than the present most. Of the planet was covered with thick and lavish tropical woodlands, by far most of the living animals of the day were minuscule on account of the wealth of vegetable food they immediately engendered and spread across an ever-increasing number of new regions. This is the point at which the ancient precursors of the vast majority of the present vertebrates flourished. For instance, the warm timberlands of the Paleogene were possessed by my acids, little and deft hunters, that seemed to be Martin's it is, accepted that they were the begetters of all the present rich. Variety of vertebrate hunters, at around a similar time their lived archaeocetes, the ancient progenitors of the present whales. At that point anyway, they seemed to be hippos. They hadn't gone to live in the ocean yet, had made their initial phases that way. Their appendages, respiratory organs in the internal back, had proactively begun to adjust to delayed stays. Submerged. The subsequent stage our planet went through was the ear scene. It started roughly quite a while back and went on for somewhat north. North of 22 million years, the shapes of the land masses had previously become very conspicuous. India had at last come toward the southern shores of Asia. And because of the impact of structural plates, Goliath rock folds shaped. That is the means by which the Himalayas rose the biggest mountain range on our planet today, despite the fact that a few types of that time previously seemed as though a few we could run over today. Others were totally unique. An illustration of one of these is Andrew Sarkis, one of the biggest vertebrate hunters that has at any point lived on the Earth its skull compared 84 centimeters which is about one and a half times more than that of the earthy-colored bear, and its nibble is assessed to have been more enthusiastically than that of any of the present land hunters. It has been derived from the profound tooth attachments in Andrew Sarkis's skull, where mandible muscles were connected to which leaves no questions with respect to the chomp's devastating power reproduction of its skeleton, demonstrates the way that the creature could quantify north of four meters long and weigh. However much a ton, still curiously it seems to be, this monster carnivore fell into the class of 
Crude Angulate's research showed that Andrew Sarkis's nearest family members were the ancient sewer structures, hippopotamus and cetaceans. Investigations of a couple of uncovered fossils with skull and teeth show that the creature probably been omnivorous and even wouldn't fret eating remains. Tragically, very few bones and fossils of this entrancing animal have been found, and researchers are currently in conflict regarding the construction of its organic entity, propensities, and connection to other. Vertebrate families, the Oligocene was the last debuck of the Paleogene it is placed that it started around 33. Nine a long time back and was over around quite a while back, which makes it about 11 million years. In length, this was a period of worldwide cooling. Warm tropical woodlands were continuously supplanted by vast grasslands covered with fields. This is the point at which the Antarctic glaciation started, and a frosty safeguard changed the green mainland of the Pearl into a dormant virus desert Australia kept on floating away from different land masses, while Africa, in actuality, was making for the north to meet Europe after a crash of structural plates mountain ranges framed. And that is the means by which the Alps showed up on the guide of the world around a long time back. The superspring of gushing lava Lagarita irately ejected on the region of the present Colorado. As a matter of fact, it was one of the major volcanic discharges of the whole Phanerozoic Age. An area of north of 30,000 square meters was covered under a layer of hot debris, however much 100 meters thick, all life inside an immense span around the fountain of liquid magma was obliterated totally. Incredibly, life can find a sense of peace. With any calamities, the earth of the time was possessed by entrancing animals, some of which were not more modest than dinosaurs in size. For instance, Unpredictable Hypothesis, an ancient herbivore connected with rhinos Paraceratherium. The biggest of these arrived at four. Eight meters in medium length, which is higher than a huge African elephant, on account of their strikingly lengthy neck. These goliaths had the option to raise their head up to seven meters over the ground. The present rhino would have the option to pass under its colossal begetter's tummy, while a human would scarcely arrive at up to touch its knee with our mass. Arriving at 20 tons, these monsters were the biggest land well evolved creatures of all times, even Brontosaurus, the most monstrous of land. Dinosaurs weighed just around 15 tons. It actually hasn't been laid out for specific what Endric Ethereum looked. Like sadly, not one whole skeleton of these astonishing creatures has been uncovered up until this point, just separate parts from various creatures of the species. Most researchers concur that despite their connection to rhinos, Enduric Ethereum didn't have a gigantic horn. Despite the fact that it might well have had a little nose trunk like the present Tapius, the storage compartment would have permitted it to take succulent leaves out treetops this monster herbivores probably lived in little crowds and were continually moving around immense stretches of land. Wandering across their territories, looking for food tragically toward the finish of the Oligocene, Indric Ethereum had vanished totally. At around similar time, the regions they used to possess were investigated by ancient elephants close by, huge hunters, hyena daybreaks, and damphy cyanides. The latters are otherwise called bear canines. It is felt that the development of new enormous herbivores would have extraordinarily vexed nature's equilibrium and mind-boggling hypothesis would have been compelled to savagely vie for its food starvation and the danger from the new. Tenants of the Asian grassland, bit by bit, prompted the herbivores' monsters' all-out annihilation, separated from those referenced. There were a few other huge hunters who were very normal on the earth in the period from 37.2 to 28. 4. A long time back, and Teledance fossilized stays of these animals have been found all over Eurasia, being even toed. Ungulates and Teledons look like wild hogs, albeit as far as development, these animals are nearer to hippos or even cetaceans. Comparing two meters long, they gauged. Over a ton. A meter-long head had enormous jaws, total with a wide range of teeth, sharpened sizes, long teeth, and wide-level moles. All things considered, knowledge were omnivores with an inclination for predation, not hampered by their great size and mass. 
they had the option to foster strikingly high rates, so chances of beating such a beast were very slender. A wild hog, the size of a huge bull that favors meat, represented a serious danger to any occupant of the earth of that time. For that reason, it is not really shocking that Intelodons effectively battled for their endurance for such a significant time. The period throughout the entire existence of our Earth that came next was the close to quality. It started roughly a long time back and finished only a long time back. This is the point at which our planet began to look yet not exactly what it resembles today. The mainlands moved there the present situations in the world's surface and the vibes of the vast majority of the plants and creatures of the day develop to be natural to our eye with the world's environment progressively becoming colder and with dry spells happening all the more frequently polar covers were bit by bit developing which finished in a worldwide glaciation toward the finish of the neogene the planet in the meantime was slithering with a wide range of captivating animals the remote ocean occupants were threatened by megalodon a goliath shark Estimating 15 meters long and gadging as much as 35 tons ashore, different gompotheriums should have been. Visible animals connected with the present elephants, a large number of them were the pleased proprietors of four strong tusks. With respect to the creature's size, some were bigger than the present African elephant, while others were very humble in correlation around two. Five a long time back there began the quaternary which is as of now the last geologic period throughout the entire existence of the Earth. It is wonderful for the development and advancement of Homo sapiens, as well as its ancient precursors, for instance, in the period from quite a while back to a long time back, there lived Gigantopithecus, one of the types of extraordinary human-like, chimps known to science, they estimated three to four meters in level, and weighed more than 500 kilograms. These animals resided on the domain of Asia and were connected with the present orangutans. Apparently, Gigantopithecus wouldn't have the option to ascend trees like other human-like gorillas because of its mass. Anyway, some of them are known to have abided in rocky regions and made homes and regular caverns and gorges, despite the fact that their eating routine is accepted to have comprised of, essentially bamboo bones of herbivorous creatures with tooth. Marks were uncovered in their sanctuaries. Deciding by these finds, it is most likely the case that these animals wouldn't fret meat and were omnivorous. At any rate, the Gigantopithecus skeleton is like that of a gorilla. So they were probably going to utilize every one of the four appendages to move around. Other than these human-like chimps had a similarly huge cerebrum, which implies that they could be moderately shrewd and were presumably ready to try and make crude working devices. Sadly, the number of inhabitants in these astounding monsters strongly dropped when the ancient predecessors of the present human arose and spread across the planet by around one. To quite a while back, they had vanished totally tragically. Relatively few remaining parts of Gigantopithecus have been found, which enormously blocks concentrating on them as they were spreading across the earth. Crude human clans disposed of numerous different animals. One of their casualties was Megatherium. A monster grounds human clans came to South America. The strong, however, drowsy Goliath was defenseless. Under a blast of sharp lances and bolts and extremely before long, it's Populace dropped to zero different monsters who evidently became terminated due to people were deprotodons which occupied Australia in the period from one. Six, a long time back to around quite a while back, these animals were the biggest known marsupials and they were connected with wombats and koalas. A portion of these astonishing creatures came to as much as three meters long and two meters in shoulder level concerning their mass. They weighed roughly three tons. This makes diprotodons, very as large as certain hippos, enormous and herbivorous, they harped on. Huge forest and waterfront grass canvassed fields that had large amounts of Australia before people had shown up there. Sequentially, the eradication of the marsupial goliaths corresponds with first human clans showing up to this land mass. Still a few researchers kept up with that the termination was caused not by hunting, but rather a peculiarity of the world's attractive field. 
along with a nearby temperature decline, the level and radiation foundation, combined with chilling eased back off plant, development which prompted starvation among the herbivores. Consequently, apparently overall, the misfortune was unavoidable and the people basically concluded it quicker. The last failure of the Quaternary, the Holocene proclaimed a strong improvement of the human civilization when Homo sapiens spread across the whole planet and overwhelmed the wide range of various occupants of our Earth. The disadvantage of this development is appeared in various modern calamities and irreversible changes in nature's equilibrium. For instance, it is because of human movement that the ozone-harming substances fixation in the world's air is deteriorating. Each year, this may universally adversely influence all living things on our Earth from least difficult microbes to expound multicellular life forms. Sadly, the quantity of entrancing animals living on our Earth is going during each time. It is especially piercing to understand that they die in view of human idiocy or roveries on controlled hunting reckless land, improvement, and lack of concern to the climate have previously caused researchers to discuss another. Sixth of the grade annihilation, occasion whose results are possibly similarly as grave as those of the past five will humankind stop before it disposes of itself. How long would it be advisable for? It take our planet to recuperate from the outcomes of the mechanical advancement, and will nature produce fundamentally new life frames? That would climate this emergency very much like, it occurred before we can scarcely sensibly respond to these inquiries. Sit down to talk with your companions about this, assuming you have a firm opinion about the issues raised here and offer us a go-ahead, assuming you partook in the video.